In a previous video, I showed a jig for twisting a pattern welded bar. At this point, I have made two more pattern welded bars and twisted them in the opposite direction, which was left. Here we see the three twisted bars in the middle with two edge billets, one on each side of the core. In the following, I will square up the twisted bars on the power hammer. This is shown in time lapse. The whole video covers a duration of about six hours. Since the goal of the exercise is to create a Viking Age sword, I'm looking at the dimensions of swords found in Norway. I'm aiming for a blade length of 30 inches with a grip that is about 4 inches long. Here we see the five bars bundled together. Before they can be welded, they need to be free of scale. We use an angle grinder to clean all eight surfaces that are going to be in contact with each other. This actually took a long time. The video shows four grinding passes in parallel. Before I tack weld the bars to hold them in place, I fire up the forge so that it can heat up to welding temperature. I tack weld the tip of the sword as well as the grip to hold the bundle together in the forge. It is important that the welds can be removed completely so they do not show up as contaminations in the finished sword. In addition to tack welding, I also wrap steel straps around the bundle where tack welding would not be possible. The straps are going to be removed as the bars are being forge welded together. Here is a view of the prepared billet before it goes into the forge. Again, the forge welding is shown in time lapse. The whole process was quite exciting. At this point, the bars are all forged welded together and I am checking the dimensions I was aiming for. The blade part came out to about 35 inches and the grip is around 4 inches.
The tip requires special treatment. Instead of using an edge billet that completely wraps around, I'm preferring the approach of cutting a V into the tip and then forge building the tip together. This is less prone to errors and a much simpler operation. Here we go, everything is swollen together. The next step is beveling the edges, but that is going to be a video for another time. <laughs> 